In this video, we will see about dictionary in Python. Dictionary is a set of key value pairs. This is how you create a dictionary. Dictionary name equal to within the curly braces give key colon value. Give each key value pair separated by comma. This is how the dictionary city looks like. You can create an empty dictionary by giving only curly braces like this. An empty dictionary marks is created here. If I give dictionary dot then press tab, it will give all the methods of dictionary. Dictionary name dot keys will return all the keys of the dictionary as a view object. Now if you give list of dictionary that is list of city here, then this gives the keys of the dictionary as a list. Why we have the view object is because while iterating through the dictionary keys, view objects are more efficient. The sorted method returns dictionary keys in sorted order. You can see the keys we got by using the list method is unsorted, while the one we got by sorted method is sorted. To check if a key is present in the dictionary, we can use the in operator. City.items This method returns all the key value pairs as a view object. In list, we had seen index can be used to access the items. In the case of dictionary, keys are the indexes. If I give city of 103, then this will return the corresponding value that is Paris. If I give a key which is not present in the dictionary, you will get an error. city.get103 the get method returns the value of the key we pass to the get method. The difference of the indexing and the get method is get method will not throw an error if you pass a key which is not in the dictionary. In the get method along with the key you can pass the message to be returned in case the key is not found. Next, we will see how to add a new key value pair to dictionary. Here, I need to add the key 106 and the value Mumbai. For that, give the dictionary name city and in square bracket, give the key to be added. Now, this equal to the value that is Mumbai. If I print the dictionary city, you can see 106 Mumbai is added. To delete a key value pair, you can use DEL, that is give DEL dictionary name and in square bracket give the key. As I said before, here 102 is the index, so here is the updated dictionary, you can see 102 is deleted. To delete the entire dictionary, you can give DEL the dictionary name. If I try to access city, then I get the error, name city is not found. Another way you can create the dictionary is using the constructor. Here, each key value pair is given as a tuple, that is, they are given in parentheses. Now, these tuples will form a list. So, here we have a list of tuples where each tuple is having the key value pair. This list of tuples is passed to the constructor. This is the dictionary created. Now we will see another method to create a dictionary. Here I have a list of ID and a list of cars. To the dictionary constructor pass SIP, ID and cars. Here ID will be taken as the key and cars will be taken as the values. You can see the dictionary is created. Here is another method to create a dictionary. 
to the constructor pass the key equal to value as shown over here currently this dictionary city looks like this if i pass 102 to the pop method of dictionary then this will pop the key value pair and return the value you popped from the dictionary this is the dictionary city right now 102 is removed the method pop item will remove the last item from the dictionary this is how the city dictionary look like now you can have dictionary of dictionary here i have a dictionary employee keys of this dictionary are the name of each employee that is here list and mark are the keys value is another dictionary which has keys id project id and project name now if i access employee of list then i get all the details of the employee that is their id project id and project name if i want to see the name of the project the employee list is working on that is employee within square bracket give list and within another square bracket give project name that is we want the project name which list is working on so by this we are concluding this video thank you for watching